Welcome to this video. My name is Emmanuel and I'll be showing you the basics of GIMP. Now, there are many tutorials on YouTube about this, but I'm going to use the latest version of GIMP. I'm going to try to make this uh, video to the point and beginner friendly. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is uh, download GIMP. So what you need to do is go to GIMP.org and you'll see at the top here a download button. You click this it will um, try to figure out which one is your operating system whether it's Linux, Mac or uh, Windows and you just download it directly here you save it, you install it and then you just open it so this is GIMP right here when you first open GIMP you're gonna see a welcome screen just like that And this is GIMP. Now for um, your windows might open up separated like this, but you just unite them. I feel like it's better to work with it this way. Um, now we're going to learn how to use GIMP by doing. So learning by doing. So we're going to recreate a meme. So I found this uh, meme on imager and we're going to recreate this so basically I'm gonna show you a trick to get the original image you right click and you search Google for image this is a Chrome feature and if you scroll down Google finds uh, websites that has a similar image this one's fine you save it I'm gonna put it in my memes folder and there you go now if you go to the image and you right click it and go to details you'll see the size of the image right here it says here 1080 by 1080 and the size is in pixels so we're going to use those dimensions so if you go to File new, you just type in those dimensions and press OK. Now we're going to simply drag the image into uh, GIMP and it should be in there. Okay, if the image looks like this, uh, basically you could align it. There's an alignment tool on the left. Click that alignment tool, you press the image and press relative to image and center it right there. Okay, now everything on the left here, these are all tools. Uh, each of these icons that let you manipulate the image, and then below it, these are settings for those specific tools that we click the text tool you'll see settings for the text tool and you can change it a bit all right now i'm going to show you some shortcuts before we continue so basically um on your keyboard if you hold control and you use a scroll wheel you can zoom in and out like this and if you let go of control and you click down the scroll wheel you can go around the canvas like this you can move around the canvas and then if you if let's say your image is off screen you just go to view zoom fit image in window and it puts it right in the middle at the size of the window now uh, okay let me explain layers so on the right side you'll see a layer section so basically GIMP works in layers so the dog is the top layer so that's why you're seeing the dog but if you hide it right here you see the background layer which is white and let's say we unhide this you see the dog again now if you see okay you see the dog basically you need to add let's say I were to cut 
there's a selection tool on the left. A rectangle select tool. You can select, uh, you know, make a selection in rectangles. And then you can press edit cut or delete. So if I go to edit cut, it, it deletes or it cuts that part off the image. Now, the image currently, this part, um, usually it would be transparent, but it isn't transparent. And I can confirm this by doing this. Look, if you take the brush tool and you leave it as the color black, and then you select the background. So to affect that layer only, and then you draw on the canvas, you see that there is uh, no, you can't see what's going on. But if you hide the dog layer, you see the black uh, coloring what we drew. So if you unhide the dog, you can't see that section. Basically, uh, usually that this section would be transparent, but this doesn't have transparency added to it. So what you need to do is right click the dog layer and press add alpha channel. And then if you were to recut this section here and press delete on your keyboard, you can see what's going on in the back. And you can select none to deselect this. And then you can, uh, a transparency usually let's, let's hide all layers. If I hide both layers, you see this checkerboard, uh, you know, background or image. That's because there's nothing, there's no visuals on the canvas. All layers are hidden and it looks like this. Or right, let's um, unhide the layers and just go back. So press edit, undo, or control Z, and it'll go back, it'll undo everything. Okay. All right, so we need to write this text. What you, we need to do now is press the text tool and then you can draw a selection here and then type in the words. If you move up, you'll see this uh, setting box. You can change the lettering. So here you could change the color. You could put the size up a bit. And then if we click this right here, it, it puts the selection around the letters. And then you can use the alignment tool. Make sure that layer is selected right here to affect it. And then with the alignment tool, click the layer and then Make sure it says relative to image and then press center. And then that way it centers it perfectly. All right, I'm gonna move this a bit down with the move tool. Go back to alignment tool, click it again. You see these four little uh, squares and then press center right here. And that's how you do that. I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. Okay, so you can't see what's going on because, and I did type something, because this layer is at the bottom below the dog. So you need to move it up by holding it. You just move it up. So this, you could select the whole thing. and put up the size, make it white, and it's white. And then click this, and it puts the selection around the text. And then go back to the alignment tool, click it, make sure it's selected on the layer box, and then make sure this says relative to image, and then press 
line center. All right, I'm gonna move it a bit down. Okay, now we're going to put the border around it. So basically, there's a few ways to do this, but but it, this way is much better because it looks uh, it looks not so pixelated. So basically, you right-click the layer, you press Alpha to selection. And then it, it shows a selection around the text. Then you press select and then grow. And then put like five pixels and press OK. Now, it creates like a border around it. So basically, you need to, um, you can use the fill bucket right here. and leave it as this color, black, and then fill it, but then this would occur. But we want it in the back, so you press edit, undo. What you need to do is create a new layer, so you press this button here to create a new layer. And then these settings are not as important right now. Just make sure it says transparency at the bottom. It fills it with the transparency. You can put white, background color, foreground color, but we want it transparency, press OK. And then you can drag the color there as well. And it makes it like this, and it looks like this because the layer is on top of the original text. So you need to take the layer and put it below the text and then press select none. And we created the border. And then you just have to do the same thing with the bottom. Right click sexy lady, layer, alpha to selection, select, grow. Okay. Create a new layer. Make sure it's transparent at the bottom, press OK. Move the layer behind the text and then drag in the color. And then press select none. And that's how you do that. Okay, now let me go over some of these on the left. So these tools, there's a selection tool, rectangle shape, ellipse shape that selects in circles. Uh, there's a the selection tool selects by color. So for example, if I were to go to the text layer, it does like individual sections that are connected. You could also, there's another selection tool here. Um, it does the whole image. So if you press uh, white here, it selects all of the white in that layer. There is a move tool. There is a this is to crop, crop the image, press enter, and it crops the image. There is a zoom tool, you can zoom in and out with that as well. There is a, this is a rotation tool. It scales the layer. Shear. It does that. Um, you can play around with these. There's a gradient tool right here. You can go to the settings here and play around with this. Pick a pattern. And it does it based upon the color. So if I change this to red. Then I go like this. It does this. 
and you press enter, it leaves a gradient there and creates a gradient. Most of the time you use a brush tool to draw. There's a pencil tool which uh, is not as smooth. There's an eraser tool to erase things. Currently it's doing that. But let's go to the image, see. Those are basically the basics. These other tools are like more advanced for other things. But um, most of the time you use a scale tool, the cut tool, the brush tool. Uh, you can play around with that. But basically those are the basics. Um, all right, so now I need to show you how to save this. So you go to file, export, as, and then put it somewhere. I'll put it in my memes folder. Give it a name. And then what you want to do is go to uh, select file type. And then these are all the file types that GIMP uses or and can save to. Go to JPEG image. And then GIMP uh, adds the extension right there. Oops. All right, dog name. GIMP adds the extension right there. You press export. Make sure make sure the quality is to 100, and press export. And now you should be able to see the image right here. Now, if you want to save your settings and layers in order to continue working. Um, on this project, you can save it as a project file. So you press File, Save As, and then this this is it saves it as an XCF, which is a project file. If you were to open this, uh, press Save. If you were to open the project file, I'll open the layers and all of the settings, and you can continue to manipulate the image. But if you open the JPEG image. It will not show you the individual layers. It will just be one image, one one layer. Let me show you that right here. See, this is the XDF project, and this is the image that we saved. So file, save as, saves project files, and file export as saves the actual image as an image file. For the font, uh, you can uh, you can change the font on the left side for the font tool right here. See, all right, and then I'm going to erase this layer. You select it and press this. It deletes the layer. Alright guys, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll try to answer them. Thank you very much. Subscribe. Leave a like if you like this video. And I will be making more uh, GIMP videos.